Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of Finding Our Adventure here in Lanzarote. We're actually checking out of this beautiful hotel room that we've been staying in for the last few days and we're very sad about that. But we're actually heading to the south of the island now to an area called Playa Blanca. And um, yeah, it's beautiful down there. We've been there before so we're excited to go back down there. There's some beautiful beaches and we're going to be staying in another hotel there. And um, before that though, we're actually going to be heading into the volcanoes. We're going to be heading up to the national park. We're actually going to be going to a volcano restaurant. So we've never done anything like that before so we're excited to try that out. Our room this morning looks a little bit messy as we're just packing everything up, but we're almost ready to go. And so we're gonna start taking it all down to the car and head on out. just entered Timanfaya National Park and there is just volcanic rock everywhere like right up to the road it's just like these massive huge bits of rock and it's just all just very like jagged and rugged landscape and we're just making our way up to into the volcano now um, there's a restaurant up there where you can have uh, dinner and lunch but we're going for lunch today and um, we're really excited so I think they cook the food actually from the volcanic um, like heat yeah so they actually cook your food on the in from the volcano so it's a very unique experience I don't think I've ever had my food cooked by a volcano so um, yeah really excited to go and try that out so apparently back in the 1700s um, the volcanoes on this island erupted for like six years straight and uh, after the six years so people were living here I think beforehand and during those six years all of the islanders had to emigrate elsewhere um, and then they came back to the island once the volcano had finished erupting so six years worth of uh, volcanic eruptions on this island and it looks like it's really made its mark on the island <music> Alright, so we have just made it inside the national park area um, that you can drive through and we have just paid for our tickets and they are um, 12 euros each per adult so it gives you access um, into the main like volcano area so you get right up into the volcano and there is the restaurant and also um, a bus that you can get on and do like a circular tour of the volcano. So we've just finished at the National Park. Um, surprisingly, the bus tour of the whole experience was actually really good. We really enjoyed it. It was very difficult to film or um, photograph anything because you're just in a coach basically, but the actual landscape is insane. It's so vast. It's so, it's just mind blowing. Like all the, the volcanic eruptions that would have taken place here about and 300 years ago. the roads as well, like you're just yeah. winding through and feels like it's really steep, isn't it? In places yeah. where you've got beautiful views and all the colors and it gives you all the information about the area. And so, yeah, I it's think very it, was, impressive. it was nice, wasn't it? And then we got to the restaurant and we tried to ask the guys, <laughs> we were basically working with the tourism board. They basically booked us a table, yeah. they've said here. And the guys were like, no, no table reservations. You just sit down and we were like, well, you know, we, we showed really them the busy. email and stuff and they were quite yeah. rude to us. So we just decided that actually we're just going to leave because we, we, yeah. we, you know, we've got other things we can do. We're not going to hassle around with that. But we did see where the food was being cooked and they said it was an eight meter shaft down over the um, volcanic heat and it was very hot. So that's pretty cool. We just didn't eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to head off to our next hotel now um, on the south coast and um, near Playa Blanca and um, enjoy the afternoon. Yep. We've just checked in to our next hotel, which is Princess Yeza Hotel, and I'm going to give you a quick room tour now. 
So the first room, when you come in, you've got a bathroom with a toilet and a bath and shower. And then you move into the living area. You've got some nice comfortable seats and there's also a dining table over there and a TV to watch stuff on. And then just behind this door is the walk-in wardrobe where you can store all your stuff. And then behind the living room area, we've got our massive bed. So it's a big kind of open plan living area. Okay, let me show you the balcony. We've got incredible sea views here and look out over onto Fuerteventura. Hope you enjoyed that quick room tour and we're gonna head down to the pool now. windy today but we've just come down to the pool just because the sun's actually come out this afternoon so we're just having a little time by the pool and um, we think we're gonna go for a little walk into the town later this afternoon have a little look around there because that was nice when we were here a few years ago to go on that walk and yeah the sun's out it's really nice even though the winds here it's still pretty warm so I think we're just gonna spend a couple of hours by the pool and just relaxing after a busy morning and the last few days as well so just spent the last few hours chilling by the pool and we're gonna head off into town now it's a nice little town probably about a 10 minute walk away from the hotel and uh, yeah, the sun's out, so we go for a nice little stroll. Yeah, I'm going to go and make the most of it. When we were last here, it was March 2020, 20, yeah. and we basically got locked down in the hotel. And we've got like photos of us like against like the perimeter fence, like trying to see things because they locked the whole hotel down, so we couldn't get out anywhere. But it's really nice to be back out because we only had one day being able to walk around this sort of these sort of paths on the beach and stuff. So it's much nicer to be able to go explore properly now without worrying about getting locked in the hotel. <laughs> so we just got ice creams. Guess which one's mine? <laughs> it's this one. I got a lion bar and then you got loads of chocolate ones Johnny got. So I got um, good luck eating that. <laughs> snacks, jump in the car <laughs> and go find a nice spot to watch sunset. Yeah. We've just made our way to Famara Beach and it was a really nice drive through the wine region as well um, of the island and we are just parked up on the side of the road and it's really windy so we just thought we'd film in here so you can hear us and we're gonna watch the sunset here so hopefully we get a good one. It's a bit cloudy so sometimes that can make it look really nice so yeah, really, really nice. It's good for surfing here and there's some windsurfers as well. So maybe we will come back at some point and do some surfing. So I just got back in the car from watching sunset. It was absolutely beautiful. Here, the sky went all like the pinky sunsetty colors that we want to see. And um, yeah, pretty hungry now. So we're gonna head back to the hotel and go get some dinner. We 
we've just got back to the hotel after a beautiful sunset and we're both very tired now but we've got ready for dinner and we're going to go have some great food and i think we're going to put the camera down for this evening and we'll probably pick it up again tomorrow morning so we'll see you tomorrow see ya good morning everybody we've just arrived at a viewpoint called mirador del rio where you can look over the edge of the cliffs of lanzarote right across to the island of la graciosa which we're actually going to be heading to in a couple of days so we're really excited so we're going to get a quick glimpse of it before heading off to a place called is it harissa harissa harrier <laughs> so we're going to get to go to harrier and then we're also going to head to a black sand beach later It's got these epic views of La Graciosa just behind us and there's some beautiful beaches on this island that we're really excited to go explore in a couple of days. We've just made it to Harrier and we're going to have an explore around the town. And um, this is where we got to two years ago before the police turned us around and told us to go back to the hotel because the island had just gone into lockdown for COVID. So yeah, this has been almost like two years in the making to get to this place. Okay. So we're excited to go explore and you can hear all the birds having a great time and it's really pretty so far. <laughs> explore around um, Haria and now we're gonna head off to El Golfo which is a black sand beach and it also has like an emerald green lake on the edge of the beach as well so we're excited to go there because black sand beaches are quite rare around the world and um, yeah we're gonna explore and we've got some cool ideas for some drone shots we've just made it to El Golfo which is the black beach and um, we're just hiking around now but it looks like the tide might be in so we might find it quite difficult to get down onto the beach itself but we're going to take we're this walkway yeah we're going to take this walkway <laughs> and see if we can get down and around to it so hopefully that works but we'll update you in a minute couldn't get onto the beach at El Golfo because the tide was in well the tide was actually all the way out but it was just a bit tricky and we had trainers on and stuff so we couldn't get into the water and get around so we decided to drive around the coast a little bit further and we found another black sand beach which is actually much better because there's hardly any tourists here it's just locals there's a few surf surfers out there there's a guy fishing and so we were able to get some really cool shots without everybody looking at us basically and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to head off into El Golfo town to probably go find some lunch and then we're gonna head back to the hotel, probably just have a chilled afternoon, chilled evening time, and probably pick it up again tomorrow. Hi everyone, just wanted to drop in at the end of this video quickly to tell you about some exciting news that we have. For the last few months, we've been working with our talented illustrator friend, Eleanor, who's designed us some incredible stickers that we're really happy and proud of. And in the next couple of the weeks, these stickers will be launched on our website for purchase. We've also been testing them over the last few months on our own bottles with smaller samples, they are super durable, tough and long lasting, so we know that they work. But before they go live on our website for purchase, we want to give you the opportunity to win one of these stickers over the next few weeks. We are going to choose one comment on each of our weekly videos to win their favourite sticker. So get commenting, leave the best comment that you can, we'll choose the winner and then we'll send you a sticker of your choice. 
Thanks for all your support and we're really excited to see which is your favourite stickers. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week for another video in our Lanzarote series.